This podcast is brought to you by GA Sports. GA Sports is home of the O'Connor Slitter, Ireland's number one hurling ball used by 311 clubs nationwide. Hello and welcome to the Backdoor Football Show. Delighted to be joined by St. Vincent's footballer and former Mayo footballer, and Verley. Um, I suppose, and uh, looking back at the result for Vincent's, um, a positive enough first half, but I suppose when you went down to 14 men against a side like Kilmichael Crokes, it was always going to be hard. Uh, it, we didn't go down to 14 men, did we? The uh, black card? Or was it Simba? Uh, don't think so. Oh, I thought was uh, there? I thought Cameron Diamond got a symbol in the second half for ten minutes. No? Oh, but yeah, sorry, pa- yeah, 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 sorry, yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, they just uh, the first half. Um, it was very competitive in the first half. It was a bit of a shootout. To each defense, like the forward lines, were on top. Um, but it, I suppose we we put a a good lot of effort or you know the intensity was high in the first half and Croke started well in the second half and once they get a lead on you it's very hard to to wheel them back in and um yeah they're a good they're a quality side they move the ball very quickly they transition the ball very quickly from uh, back to front and it's it's hard to if you don't um, stop them, get ahead of seam around the middle third and they're they're running through you it's going it's always going to be difficult for our backs Exactly, and I suppose moving to Vincent uh, from Gary Moore it was a tough decision for you coming up from the country. Uh, yeah, it was. It, um, how can I put this now? It, it wasn't. It was obviously it was a tough decision, but um, I suppose. It was the logical decision from from my point of view. Um, it was always going to be tough. I was traveling. I was probably traveling about six years up and down across the country. So um, I was probably twenty nine. I was twenty nine at the time, and it was kind of you know at, at that stage uh, I wanted some quality of life. Um, so you know you you you're really you're kind of living out, out of a suitcase or out of your gear bag. Uh, when you're you know going across the country like that uh, every Friday you're leaving Sunday then on Sunday morning you're thinking about the the journey up to bloody Dublin uh, to get back to work then on, on the Monday morning so uh, that's not enjoyable um, so obviously my my wife now is obviously you know she's up here as well so um, yeah it it was it was the right decision from my point of, personal point of view obviously it was always going to be hard to. To leave, leave the local club, uh, a lot of tradition in Gary Moore. Uh, you know, grandfather, father played for Gary Moore, brothers played for Gary Moore. Um, so it was obviously it wasn't a decision I took lightly, but um, it was the logical one for my own kind of mental well-being, if you want to put it like that. And I suppose like the culture within Vincent's having won all Ireland's. I suppose like coming from Gary Moore, where you wouldn't traditionally in your time have won too much county titles. Did you find the culture a lot different when you went into Vincent's? Uh, it was a culture like the inter-county set up, to be honest, with, with Mayo. I, I obviously experienced that during my time with Mayo. And it was um, a culture that I was well used to, a culture that I've, I, I'm most comfortable in, to be honest. Um, uh, and the boys were, you know, challenging each other and trying to, you know, when you're going for county titles every year, um, which you were, um, you know, um, it's always going to be competitive, and the the strength in the squad was very evident when I when I first came in there. Um, you know, and the the management at the time, Tommy Conroy, um, Sean Brady, and Neil Neil Kern, who were there at the time. You know, they they really drove drove the standards on, and in turn, the, the boys responded to that, and you know, responded well to that, and drove it on the pitch. Then, as a result, and I suppose. Getting to play club football with the likes of Jerry McConley, Mossy Quinn, Brendan Egan and Jerry Brennan, like to play with them such leaders, do you think that brought your performance levels in Vincent's on to the new level? Um well you're see you're dealing with different people, different it's you know football is subjective, it's it's opinions and, and getting their kind of insight into the way they want the they think the game should be played was is always very interesting. 
Um, so that's that's the most thing I took took from from it when I first came in. It was a different way of looking at the game, uh, and I really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was a change. Again, you're, you're looking at different fellas. Obviously, the culture in Dublin would be a, a bit different from Mayo. Um, so it was, it was just interesting to get their aspect and their view on 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 the game. And I suppose then you lose in the last two quarterfinals, uh, lost to semi final as well, and it's been kind of talked about a few times. Is this Vincent's team now going through a transition period? Do you think? Uh, you'd have to say, you'd have to say it probably is a bit. Um, look, the, the team, I suppose, from 2013 when they first won the, their county. Um, you know, and to, I suppose seventeen when we last won the county in Dublin, it's it's unprecedented that you're you can um that's what a six year stretch. Uh you know, we won four four county titles in five years. So um that's pretty pretty unheard of in Dublin football to be honest, especially club uh, club football. It's you know, you have I'm not joking. There's six, seven teams at, at the outside of the year that that can realistically, uh, you know, go go for that county title. So, um, it's, it's 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 they're very they're tough to win. I put it like that. Uh, you, you'd always see the last last couple of years, Borden have won it two years ago, or Borden won it last year. Crokes won it the year before that. And yeah, you know, I'd be interested to see what happens this year because the, the two semi finals, there are four really good teams left. Yeah, and I suppose you got the better of Ballymun in the 2017 county final. What's that rivalry like against Ballymun? Uh, intense. Um, very, very intense. Um, I suppose, again, uh, during, during that period, Ballymun and Vincent's were, were the two teams that were fighting it out every year for the county title. And when that competitive edge comes into both sides, well then it, it's you know, there's gonna be a bit of a bit of needle on the pitch. And yeah, on the pitch, I suppose we played them in sixteen semi final, uh, got got through by a point, played them in the seventeen county final, bet them by a, a goal, but uh, they're always extremely tight games. Uh, very fast. Uh, everyone's on their on their guard. Basically, it's you know one mistake. You know can can obviously uh, can cost the team um, uh, the county title. So it's everyone's everyone's basically. Um, I suppose everyone is just trying to maximize uh, their their efforts. Basically. Your time in Mayo, obviously, 2012 and 2013, were they tough moments to take, like losing two all Ireland finals in a row? Um, yeah, you could say that, yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose uh, 2012, we were probably a bit naive or green coming into it. Um, James Horn took us over at Low Ebb in, in 2011, the start of 2011. So he, he, he built that culture culture up um, the start of 11 and uh, the, the journey kind of began. Um, 2013 was probably the one that hurt the most because it was the second one. We, we really felt that we were the best team in Ireland that year. Um, and I suppose on the day, there's a few things that we say Tom Kniff had to had to come off. Uh, Keith Higgins was doing very well since forward that day on on Ger Brennan, and he had to come back to corner back. Um, there was a couple of Dublin injuries in the last 15 minutes that we probably didn't spot, and Rory O'Carroll was concussed, and Owen O'Gara's hamstring was was hanging off him. So um, you know, there's probably a, f- a couple of things that management and players would have done differently but um, yeah sure it is what it is you can't do much about it now exactly and like just touching on Andy Moore and like his latter career um, just seeing it the last day against Balladrian his movement inside like how good is it to play was it to play with him and learn off him because he just constantly never stops yeah, no, he, you know, um, the mark of the good forward is obviously, look at, um, you're going for, Andy probably makes three or four runs uh, to get to get, to get to get that ball, like, and as a cornerback, you'd always start to the cornerbacks and they all, like, it's it's a nightmare to, the more you're moving, and 
obviously as a cornerback you're looking out the field and you're you're seeing who's on the ball see if you know they have the capability to to get that inch perfect ball in there and then you're looking at Andy behind you making three or four runs and you're you're trying to eye up the two of them and see what's going on so the more runs you're making the more difficult it is for the cornerback to obviously stop that so even the the goal against um Brafie at the weekend you know it was Andy literally cut cut to the wing and then first one was cutting to the ring and then he cut back inside uh, going towards goal uh, and once once you receive the ball going towards goal it's 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 a nice feeling because you're obviously if you're receiving the ball going out the wing side you have to obviously collect it and take your man on so you're not a goal threat but if you can receive that ball going towards goal you know the panic on that defender's face is is going to be um, you know you could see at the weekend uh, he finished it well Exactly, and like the character within this Mayo team is huge, it's always talked about, but how do you think they can keep going back year after year after year every time? Well, you're saying about the Vincent's team in transition, I'd probably say the Mayo team's in transition now, so you're talking like, the, you know, you're looking through it now from the, the team of the 12 and 13, like there isn't, there isn't too many left at this stage, so uh, look at James is looking to to bring bring in new fellas, new faces to to bring bring it on, and obviously look at the older older guys who are left. Will obviously um, show show them the standards and what what it it means. Obviously, to, everyone knows what it means to play for your county, and especially Mayo. Like, uh, but to to show them what standards look like and what they should be doing off the pitch, and in terms of looking after themselves off the pitch and doing the prehab, being injury free. Uh, the more available you are, the better it is. Uh, because obviously the volume of training when it comes to inter county it, 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 it increases an awful lot. So um, look, James is trying to blood 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 youth uh, as much as he can get, and uh, you know it'll be probably won't be this year, but you know hopefully in the next twelve months you, you'll see that coming through. And like even looking at the club championship, um, Alan Tucker and Casabare obviously out, which is a huge mm. surprise really, but like. Even there's some lads putting their hands up here. Conor O'Shea, the last day, looked excellent. Kick at one four. Darren McHale for Knockmore looks good. Mark Moore and, uh, for Westport. And then you've Ushi Mullen and Tommy Connor who came in th this year as well who impressed. So there is lads putting their hands up for places. Yeah, there is. Yeah, just starting from Connor, I suppose. Connor was probably, it's probably unlucky with. With Mayo in a way, because he was kind of, we didn't really find a position for him. He was either I don't know wing forward, corner forward, full forward, midfielder. You could play him anywhere. Um, you know that was probably his 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 downfall maybe. But he should look. But he's showing good form at the moment. Uh, the other boys you mentioned are showing good form as well. But uh, we say that's why it's so important for Mayo to, to stay in Division One because when you're blooding them players, it's important to the standard of Division One football. That's the standard. You know, you're coming into Championship Football or Ireland Series. That's the standards that you're going to be marked on. So, um, you know, for my own sake, I hope to stay in Division One because bringing them the the youth through is obviously very very important. But having to play Division One football uh, is very very important as well because uh, I'm not going to say Division Two isn't competitive, but uh, yeah, yeah, playing lower lower standard football, you get into more bad habits. And playing Division One football, you won't get as much time. Playing Division One football, you won't get as much time on the ball. And you really, James will have a good idea of who's up to that standard. You know when they're playing them, them league games. Yeah, and then I suppose, just touching, um, like, do you think there'll be an inter-county championship played this year? Um, everyone's kind of seems to be talking about it, whether it's not or it is going to be played. Um, I, would, I, would, I would doubt it, to be honest. I, um, you know, just talking to the lads, is the appetite there for it? I'm not so sure. Um, as you said earlier, with the club games, no crowds at the games. You know, obviously, the crowds are the, is the main thing that you know inter county you know you're you're packing 80 82000 uh, you're packing 82000 into into Croker. so it's it's um sorry now just one second someone's going to tune in here yeah sorry i was just saying that the the um the crowd situation is a major thing, and obviously, you know, I don't think will the GA have will the Crow Park have much, much, um, 
much grow for playing it either because obviously the financial aspects is not there. Um, you know, counties, when the crowds aren't coming into it, the, the money aspects, uh, smaller counties are going to come, come under pressure from a financial standpoint. Then obviously, you know, um, you know the pandemic aspect. You know, even club football. From you know, was it enjoyable to play club football this year? Um, you know, it wasn't the most enjoyable year personally for myself. I don't know. That I don't know. That's from my own point of view. But I, I'd imagine if you ask other club players, did they would they did they would they say they enjoyed this year? I'm not too sure. Many many would because, you know, it's 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 completely different. The prep time, the prep is completely different. You're coming tagged out. Um, you know, you're not having the same kind of banter with the boys. You're sanitising hands every two bloody seconds, which has to be done. Uh, it is what it is. Um, so, look at. I suppose we we know the numbers are the numbers are obviously increasing at the moment um, nationwide and especially in Dublin. But you know, I I'd find I'd see it. Uh, if you're asking me now, do I see the intercounty championship to go ahead? I would say probably not. And then finally, do you still think Dublin are that step ahead of everyone else? Uh, uh, no, I don't at this moment in time. Uh, well, I, I suppose, look, it's, uh, Dublin are a year older. They've got... Sorry, I lost you there. They, uh, they're a year older. Um, you know, obviously new management have come in. It's a massive... Um, culture change for every player. Uh, Desi has a has a big job in his hands because it's look at a lot of them players, you know, they they've they've won the five in a row. It's a balancing act now for him. Who's who's hungry, um, you know, who's lost their hunger, you know, who's who's shown the same motivation, appetite, uh bringing uh bringing new players into the fold. I just think I just think Kerry are, are, co are coming big time and um I think, yeah, I, th I think Kerry will come in big time. I think they, they'll, if, if it's played this year, I think they'll win it. Thanks a million for your time, um, Edward. I really appreciate it.